Well, first we got to start, you know, in South America. So, you know, these birds are neotropical migrants. These are birds that are long distance migrants. They uh, migrate from North America, the temperate forests of North America, from the boreal, so forth, filter south. And these are the Easter breeding birds. And then they, you know, they winter in the tropics various, at various latitudes, some in South America. And then they come back through in the, in the spring. The Alabama coast is the first chance the birds have to land and refuel after crossing the Gulf of Mexico every spring. In the fall, they reverse the trip, using the Gulf Coast as the last pit stop before the 200-mile flight to their wintering grounds. The birds are captured as they cross the Fort Morgan Peninsula. They tumble into soft nets that are almost invisible to the eye. A team of biologists check all 22 nets every few minutes untangling birds and delivering them to the banding station. There, the captured birds are quickly assessed for vital statistics, including weight, 10.4, condition of the feathers, and the amount of fat remaining on their bodies after the grueling journey, which involves a little right. air kiss to blow back the feathers. Their skin is so delicate, you can see the muscles and fat through it. I'm just looking for fat. I'm just blowing it right now because, yeah, it's me too. <laughs> um, this pocket is formed, and that's where fat is deposited. So depending on the lipid amount within that, it'll be bulbous, or you can see a translucence to the skin, so you can actually see how much fat's in there. And then blowing here, if it's a male, typically you're going to see in a large cloaca where it's kind of blossoming out. Um, whereas females wouldn't have that. Is it two? Yep. They find it too. There we go. Ooh, you've been eating some stinky berries. And some caterpillars, probably. Pretty, pretty <laughs> noxious <laughs> stuff in there. Read the full band thing? Yep. And then, kitted out with their new jewelry, they're sent on their way. Some of these birds have been captured in these same nets in previous years, meaning they managed to come ashore in exactly the same spot after crossing back and forth over the Gulf of Mexico. Every year, we're catching a lot of the same birds we banded in previous years that were long distance migrants. And it allows us to see not only how long they survive, but it shows that they have an innate cue to come back to those same breeding grounds that they were actually born and fledged from. And they remember that and retain that and be able to somehow amazingly find that same little patch.